Hey, what's up guys? It's Phil and this is 3D Japan and today I've just got this small box. Uh, this is uh, some filament from Polymaker. This is wood or it's actually wood-like. Uh, from what I saw, this does not actually have any wood in it, but it looks like wood and they say it acts like wood. So you can sand it and you can stain it and uh, so that sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to try and open this up. Yeah, that's easier with scissors. <laughs> but, there we go. It looks really cool. It really does kind of look like wood just on the spool. Um, so I was thinking what can I make that's uh, wood like but can be 3D printed? And I've been seeing these um, like acorn shaped tray things you can see here. And uh, you know, it's like you can use it as a candy dish or you know, put some nuts in it to feed your squirrel friends outside. And they look pretty cool. So you, know, you can buy them on Amazon or various places, but I thought that's pretty easy to make. I could model that myself. So let's head over to the computer and we'll get it modeled. By the way, leave a comment if you get this joke. Um, <laughs> this is another shirt from GeeksOutfit.com. They have all kinds of geeky, nerdy shirts. Uh, you can use my code if you want to check them out. Uh, Fill25 to get 25% off. There's a link down below. Let's head over to the computer. Okay, here we are in Lightwave. And oh, no, this is not what we want. This is a project that I'm currently working on for a client. Uh, just started off. It's a model of the Batmobile, uh, but we don't want this. So I'm going to close this or we'll start a new project and I'm going to change out my backgrounds. I'm going to pick my acorn tray and that is awfully dark. <laughs> Let's uh, bring the brightness up. Yeah, that looks good. So this is just one that I found on Amazon. I think I could model it myself pretty easily. So, um, we're just basically going to start off with a box, uh, or a square polygon, I guess. Uh, let's uh, put it here, and I'm going to zoom in. So I'm basically just going to take this polygon and grab the edge, and I'm just going to extend it <clears throat> and drag it around and keep on going until I've got the entire top filled up. So let's go. Okay, I finished up uh, most of the polygons along the top and it's basically symmetrical. So we can just hit Shift V and N for numeric and we've got it mirrored. Uh, so then I can just fill in these little details on the top and bottom and make a little adjustment over here and then we can start filling in the bowl. All right, so I've got this top flat part done. So let's just uh, start working on the bowls here. So I'll just select one edge and make a loop selection. And then I can just extrude it. Yeah, and uh, so we'll just uh, continue working our way around, get the bowl finished. And then we'll do the other one. All right, we got these two little like bowl areas done. And really all that's left is selecting these outer edges, like so. And then doing the same thing, extruding them down and around underneath the bottom. Okay, here we go. It's uh, all done and uh, yeah, it's a, uh, a little bit jaggedy looking, but uh, if I hit tab, I can switch it to subdivision surfaces or sub D's and get rid of the wires. And I think that looks fantastic. I might want to flatten this out a little bit down here, but otherwise it looks pretty good and it's ready to print. Uh, as soon as I switch it back to polygons and I'll just do that by hitting shift D here 
oops, a control D, excuse me. And now we're frozen into polygons. And with no wires, it looks pretty much just as good. So let's uh, print it in our wood filament and see how it looks. Maybe it'll need a little sanding. That would be interesting to test. Let's check it out. While this is printing, let me mention my sponsor, PCBWay. What if you want to print this tray or something else, but you don't have a printer? Maybe you want to try a different material that isn't possible at home. Well, you can just upload your model to their site, choose the materials you want, and they will print it and ship it right to you. So check out PCBWay.com. There's a link down below. Okay, there we go. That is all finished. I had a little problem down there, but uh, that's my fault. Um, but I think it looks really cool. It kind of feels like um, a cardboard or uh, maybe MDF, but it's really cool. Um, so I've got some uh, sandpaper here. See, I've got 880. <laughs> I think I have one in between, but I, I don't remember where it is. <clears throat> now let's uh, tear off some of that. All right, now what happened down here is this was uh, very thin and when I was removing supports, I thought it was part of the brim. So I was punching through it and then I realized that's hollow. So it was actually inside the model. But let's try and sand some of this off. Okay. Well, it looks like that is working. So I'm gonna continue sanding this and we'll see how it looks when it's done. Okay, so here it is. It's, uh, it's I didn't quite sand it all the way smooth, but I think it came out pretty good looking uh, Aside from my little damage back there that I caused But uh, I noticed uh, with when you're sanding this material It comes off as dust instead of uh, normal PLA when you sand it It's kind of makes like it kind of shreds it but this comes out really smooth and it can be dusty, so you might want to wear a dust mask. Uh, you don't want to be inhaling this. But uh, yeah, uh, came out really good. Uh, I will make this model available in the description below if anybody wants to print this themselves. So I hope you liked watching and learning about this filament. And I uh, hope you liked my little model here, and let me know if you print it yourself. All right, so I gotta go, because uh, I'm getting ready tomorrow. I will be going to 3D Printopia and filming there. So keep an eye on the channel for that video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.